Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef Bill. Today we're going to use Philadelphia brand cream cheese to make a cheesecake. It will be delicious. Honey-made graham cracker crumbs make the best crust. And we'll use Breakstone sour cream, the real kind, not, not the light, even though that's good. But we're making cheesecake. Come on, you can, use real che you can use real sour cream and real cream cheese to make a cheesecake. It will be delicious. We'll have a cherry topping for this one. Do you understand the concept of a springform pan? This is a springform pan. We'll make the crust in here, we'll bake the cheesecake in here, and when it's done, we put this lever and the sides will come off and that'll make it easy to get to the cheesecake and serve it. I have the sugar, the breadcrumbs, and now I'm adding the butter. So I'll mix this, mix this well and then press it firmly into the bottom of the cake pan. The graham cracker crumbs are mixed and now I'm gonna pour them into the, into the into the springform pan, and from there, press it firmly to the, make the crust on the bottom. This technique, using the back of your fingers, will flatten out the breadcrumbs and make them work really well. Try this at home. You know, you can set your oven to 350, but unless you have an oven thermometer, you won't know what temperature your oven is. We're still at 300. It's got some time to go until it's preheated. You'll have the cream cheese and the vanilla and you'll add the sugar, and then mix it all together well. This is why they invented the electric mixer. Okay, you need to add a cup of sour cream. Uh, I don't have enough hands to do this. So, it's important to measure carefully. Uh, that's about a cup. We're going to add the four eggs one at a time. So you add an egg, and then mix it in. It's not a good idea to lose track of how many eggs. That's two. That's three. And that's four. So, mixing it all in, we mix it all up, and then we'll put it in the pan. We have to bake the, now the oven's ready, so now we can bake the crust for 10 minutes. So what you notice is the oven is 350, and the pan goes in, and we set the timer for 10 minutes. If I knew how to do that, I would be fine, but I don't. So, set the microwave to cook for 10 minutes. Oh, I found out how to work the timer, so that's good. So one of the important things about cooking is be sure you preheat your oven to the temperature specified in the ingredients in the recipe. All right, so it's very important when you're doing your recipe to make sure you follow all the directions before you say, okay, I'm done with the mixing. Make sure everything you need is actually in the mix. I've done that. So one thing I do is I strain the cherries from the cherry syrup that comes in the pie topping. I heat the syrup on the stove with some pomegranate juice to make a palm cherry reduction. Okay, time is up for the uh, 10 minutes for the crust. Let's take it out. So now the crust is done and I think I can add the filling to it and then bake that. But just like car repair, it's often a good idea to check the directions to make sure that's what you're supposed to do next. Okay, so the next step is to pour in the topping over the crust, which is what I'm doing now. We're going to bake this for 40 minutes at 350. Oh, and don't touch the pan because it is still hot. Okay, so one of the things you have to be very careful of is to make sure that the bottom does not fall out of the springform pan. Very careful of that. With a little bit of luck and some perseverance, you'll get the, the crust, the filling, and everything into the oven and bake for 40 minutes. Then you can clean up the mess where the pie bottom fell out by accident because you weren't paying enough attention. So here's a difficult part. You have to decide, is this cooked enough? And the center moves a little bit, but the rest of it, uh, I'm gonna give it another two or three more. I'm gonna give it five more minutes. Then I think I'll pull it out. Okay, the cherry topping is ready. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to cool overnight. I'm gonna top the cheesecake tomorrow, just before we serve it. Time to take the cake, cheesecake, out of the oven. Okay, and it's done. So I'll let it cool off here, and then I'll put it in the refrigerator and cool it overnight. So it's all done now, except for the eating, and I'll report on that tomorrow.